Okay, time to show you games from the Nintendo consoles, starting with my NES games. This is probably going to take up the three parts, two or three parts, because I got a lot of games, a little bit more than the 2600. So, let's get this show on the road, because I got a lot to show. First, Vegas Dreams. I'm going to show you the box games first, by the way, I almost forgot to tell you. This is the only complete in box game that I've got. These are several boxes I have. Don't have the manual, at least not at this time. Dr. Mario. Ignore the marker on the front. Pretty good puzzle game. Silver Surfer. One of the hardest, yet most frustrating games ever. Boy, does this show. Battle Chess. Jaw. RC Pro Am. Pretty decent racing game. Pretty decent. Solar Jetman. And my last box game Wheel of Fortune. From this point on, it's cartridge only. So here we go. Ten yard fight. Seven twenty degrees. The Adventures of Bayou Billy. The Adventures of Dino Ricky. The Avengers in the Magic Kingdom. Anticipation. Arch Rivals. Pretty fun basketball game where you can punch the living daylights out of other people. <laughs> Don't do that in real life. Arkanoid. Pretty decent breakout clone. Showed a demo of this not too long ago. Astian X. Athletic World. You know, this is very... This is very interesting. Now, right here it says... Family Fun Fitness. It's actually the precursor to the Power Pad. Which is... Right, this one thing right up there. This is one of those Power Pad compatible games. In case you don't know. Balloon Fight. Bases loaded. And here's the sequel. Bases loaded 2. Blades of Steel. Trying to imitate the announcer there. Blaster Master. Some of you are probably familiar with this game. A 
Boyness Blob. You know, hard to believe they actually made a sequel for the Wii recently. Bugs Bunny Birthday Blowout. Bugs Bunny Crazy Castle. Oops, sorry about that. What is this? California Games. Captain Skyhawk. Castlevania. Game that started off for the Castlevania series. Castlevania 2 Simon's Quest. Different from all the other Castlevania games I know. Castlevania 3 Simon's Cur- Not Simon's Curse. Dracula's Curse, excuse me. Sorry about that. Chip and Dale Rescue Rangers. It's actually a sequel to this, but it's so rare it's outrageously priced at times. Oop, darn it. City Connection. And like Base is Loaded, it actually has Julico as the end label. Pretty silly. Who's gonna know which game is which if they have the company name at the end of the label? Classic Concentration. They were a game based off of a, of a game show at the time. Clue Clue Land. Chris Dallas. They were one of my favorite games when I was young. Pretty good RPG. Cybernoid. Dance Aerobics, another power pad controlled game. Very few of these games utilize the power pad, by the way. Out. And here's the first of few unlicensed games I'm going to show in these videos. Death Bots by American Video Entertainment. Demon Sword. Donkey Kong Classics, featuring both Donkey Kong and Donkey Kong Jr. Speaking of Donkey Kong Jr., I have the standalone version. Double Dragon. Dragon Warrior, one of the early RPGs that pretty much revolutionized the genre. Sorry about the squeakiness of my chair here. I really apologize for that. Dragon Warrior 2. Well, I'm just about out of time, so stay tuned for part 2, everyone, and I'll show you even more NES goodness.